so it was sutton and bovary sutton and bovary who gave the chromosomal theory of inheritance walter sutton and theodore bovary gave the chromosomal theory and then experimental verifications of the chromosomal theory were done by thomas hunt morgan and his colleagues which led to the discovery of the basis for variation so experimental verifications of the chromosomal theory of inheritance was done by thomas hunt morgan and his colleagues so who gave the chromosomal theory of inheritance sutton and bovary who gave the experimental verification for it thomas hunt morgan so these were the scientists involved and morgan worked on tiny fruit fly drosophila melanogaster which was very suitable for his studies if you remember mendel had selected pea plant and morgan selected drosophila now pea plant had many advantages similarly drosophila also has many advantages so what are the reasons for choosing drosophila as an experimental subject it can be grown on a simple synthetic medium in the lab so laboratory mein ek simple artificial medium pe drosophila easily grow ho jate hain and it completes its life cycle in about 2 weeks so do week mein hi life cycle khatam ho jati hai and a single mating produces a large number of progeny flies to do week mein life cycle khatam aur ek hi mating se bahut sare progenies offsprings aate hain and unka bhi do hi week mein life cycle khatam ho jata hai to fatafat fatafat bahut sare offsprings milte hain aur offsprings milte hain aur unka mating bhi possible hai because we have large numbers of those offsprings and there was clear differentiation of the sexes the male and the female flies are easily distinguishable the female fly is much larger than the male fly aur unka sexual differentiation bahut easy hai so mating was possible easily between the small male and the larger female fly and it also shows many types of heredity variations which can be seen with low power microscope fruit fly mein variation bahut aate hain color of eye ka variation hota hai color of body ka variation hota hai wing pattern ka variation hota hai to bahut sare variations hote hain which can be used for experimental studies then we have the concept of linkage and crossing over all the genes present on a chromosome have a tendency to inherit together and is called as a linkage to so, jitne bhi genes ek chromosome pe hote hain they tend to inherit together and is called as a linkage so samjho you have chromosome number 1 maternal and chromosome number 1 paternal and you have gene for color of eye color of hair color of skin and you have gene for color of eye color of hair color of skin then these genes tend to inherit in the next generation together and are called as a part of linkage they are a part of linkage belonging to the same linkage group and all the genes of a chromosome are linked and belong to the same linkage group and the number of linkage groups corresponds to the haploid number of chromosomes or the number of pairs of chromosomes the total number of linkage groups of a particular species corresponds to its haploid number so humans ke andar we have 23 pairs of chromosomes 23 pairs of chromosomes 46 chromosome to hamara haploid number kya ho gaya haploid number is 23 so we have 23 maternal and 23 paternal chromosomes so 
homologous pairs of chromosomes are there and these are called as a linkage so the number of linkage groups in humans is 23 and that 23 chromosome number is also called as our genome so if we have 46 chromosomes out of them 23 haploid number is called as the number of linkage groups also called as the human genome one genome linkage groups can be broken by crossing over during meiosis to form a new combination of genes so, sir samjho ye hai linked genes found on the same chromosome ye hai linked genes found on the same chromosome then do we remember during tachytene the non homologous chromosomes sorry the non sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes will exchange genes and once they exchange genes what will happen sir suppose here you had maternal gene for color of eye maternal gene for color of skin here you had paternal gene for color of eye paternal gene for color of skin then during tachytene you get crossing over and here you have maternal for color of eye maternal for color of skin paternal for color of eye paternal for color of skin and when the disjunction takes place jab crossing over ke baad homologous chromosome separate then here we will get paternal gene of eye and here we have maternal gene of skin and here we have maternal gene for eye and paternal gene for skin ye maternal gene aa gaya aur ye paternal to ye ban gaya new combination ye ban gaya new combination and here we have paternal paternal gene of eye maternal gene of skin maternal gene of eye and paternal gene of skin so what is this phenomenon called as recombination so ye ho gaya recombination due to crossing over which we have done in meiosis and then we have kinds of linkages complete linkage and incomplete linkage linked genes which are closely located on a chromosome and do not separate or inherit together are called as completely linked genes and that phenomenon is called complete linkage samjho you have maternal chromosome and here you have gene for color of eye uske baju mein you have gene for color of skin samjho you have blue eye and you have fair skin and here you have father's gene for color of eye you have black eye and you have dark skin now blue and fair are tightly linked black and dark are tightly linked so unka recombination chance bahut kam ho jata hai recombination chance bahut kam ho jata hai samjho crossing over hota hai then crossing over will take place this way that both blue and fair crossover and both black and dark crossover so after splitting ulta ho jayega maternal chromosome will have black and dark black and dark maternal pe aa gaya and you have paternal chromosome pe here you have blue and fair so blue and fair saath mein rehte hai black and dark saath mein rehte hai because unka dono ka recombination ho gaya very rarely it will happen that here you have blue 
and here you have fair and here you have black and here you have dark and recombination takes place this way. कि दोनों जीन्स के बीच में रिकॉम्बिनेशन होता है जीन्स इतने टाइटली लिंक्ड है कि उनका रिकॉम्बिनेशन उनके बीच में रिकॉम्बिनेशन होना टू नाउ फॉर्म ब्लू विद डार्क ब्लू आईज विद डार्क स्किन एंड ब्लैक आई विद फेयर स्किन ये रिकॉम्बिनेशन हो गया तो ब्लू एंड फेयर था ब्लैक एंड डार्क था नाउ वी हैव गॉट ब्लू एंड डार्क एंड वी हैव गॉट ब्लैक एंड फेयर तो क्रॉसिंग ओवर वॉज एग्जैक्टली इन बिटवीन द जीन्स ये चांसेस बहुत कम है एंड नॉर्मली ये रिकॉम्बिनेशन पॉसिबल बहुत रेयरली होगा एंड ब्लू एंड फेयर विल ऑलवेज इनहेरिट टूगेदर एंड ब्लैक एंड डार्क विल ऑलवेज इनहेरिट टूगेदर उनके बीच में चयासमटा बनना एंड रिकॉम्बिनेशन होने के चांसेस बहुत कम है सो टू गेट ब्लू एंड डार्क and to get black and fair chances are very less it will normally inherit as blue and fair only and black and dark only so maternal maternal will remain as maternal maternal and paternal paternal will remain as paternal paternal to get maternal maternal ke beech mein पेटर्नल पेटर्नल का चैसमेटा बनना एंड टू गेट मेटर्नल पेटर्नल एंड पेटर्नल मेटर्नल टू गेट रिकॉम्बिनेशन चांसेस आर वेरी लेस एंड सच जीन्स विच आर लिंक टूगेदर क्लोजली लोकेटेड ऑन द क्रोमोजोम एंड डू नॉट सेपरेट एंड इनहेरिट टूगेदर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज कंप्लीट सेक्स लिंकेज or complete linkage and that phenomenon is called complete linkage link genes closely located on the chromosome do not separate and inherit together that is called complete linkage but if the link genes were widely located on a chromosome they would easily separate by crossing over and is called incomplete sex linkage samjho you had maternal gene for blue color year and gene for fair skin year and you had gene for black eyes year and gene for dark skin year then ye hai blue and fair ye hai black and dark now genes are situated far apart so unke beech mein crossing over ke chances kafi high hai and ye cross over ho gaya and you have a very high chance that when this will separate you will get gene for black eye ye aa gaya gene for black eye and ye aa gaya blue and ye aa gaya dark और ये आ गया फेयर तो ब्लैक नाउ वी हैव ब्लैक एंड फेयर एंड यू हैव ब्लू एंड डार्क तो ब्लैक एंड फेयर ब्लैक एंड फेयर एंड यू हैव ब्लू एंड डार्क ब्लू एंड डार्क this recombination took place so it was originally blue and fair and black and dark now because of crossing over you have black and fair and you have blue and dark 
तो रिकॉम्बिनेशन हो चुका है एंड दिस रिकॉम्बिनेशन वॉज पॉसिबल बिकॉज जीन्स वॉज सिचुएटेड फार अपार्ट तो फार अपार्ट है तो उनके बीच में रिकॉम्बिनेशन के चांसेस काफी हाई होते हैं एंड दीज आर कॉल्ड एज इनकम्प्लीटली लिंक जीन्स सो वंस अगेन इफ जीन्स आर सिचुएटेड क्लोज टू ईच अदर देन चांसेस ऑफ रिकॉम्बिनेशन एंड क्रॉसिंग ओवर आर लेस and that is called complete linkage what you will inherit is maternal maternal and paternal paternal very little chance of maternal paternal and paternal maternal ye chances bahut kam hai and getting original combination is very high but if genes are situated far apart on a chromosome then chances of recombination are very high and you get chances of recombination if genes are situated far apart on a chromosome then chances of recombination are very high and you get a high chance of paternal maternal and maternal paternal iske chances kafi high ho jate hain and that is called as incomplete linkage to so, ye kaun se linkages hai these are complete linkage with tightly packed genes ye complete linkage hai with tightly packed genes aur ye kaun sa hai incomplete linkage with genes situated far apart to so, iske andar crossing over ke chances zyada hai and you get recombination easily because genes are situated far apart on the chromosome so this is complete linkage where maternal maternal and paternal paternal tend to inherit together but here we have got recombination easily possible and you have maternal and you have maternal and you have paternal and you have paternal maternal paternal ke beech mein crossing over hota hai and you get maternal paternal and you get paternal maternal so if you take the example samjho you have blue eyes and you have fair skin and you have black eyes and you have dark skin but are situated far apart then this can cross over and you can get crossing over and then when the segregation takes place you easily get black eye with fair skin and you get blue eye with dark skin so ye recombination ke chance kafi high hote hain and that is called as incomplete linkage and genes are widely located and may separate by crossing over so we have complete linkage and incomplete linkage sir iska ek superb example tha morgan's experiment showing linkage and recombination morgan carried out several dihybrid crosses in drosophila uh, to study that genes were sex linked and he carried dihybrid crosses similar to mendel in p blood morgan hybridized yellow body and white eye female to brown body and red eye male so he did yellow body and white eye female to brown body and red eye male and in ka parents ka parents ka f1 generation banaya now what did he get in the f2 generation f2 generation mein you should have got ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 
according to mendel where nine would be yellow body three would be yellow body white eye nine would be yellow body white eye three would be yellow body acha yellow body white eye kitne honge nine yellow body brown uh, red eye kitne honge three brown body white eye kitna hoga three and brown body red eye kitna hoga one so parental yellow and white nine and brown body and red eye one and recombination yellow with uh, uh, red eye three and brown body with white eye three ye recombination hona chahiye tha what did he observe he observed yellow body white eye crossed with brown body red eye so if it was yellow and it was brown ah uh, sorry yellow and it was brown and it was white eye and it was red eye then yellow with red eye would have undergone recombination or brown with white eye would have undergone recombination if they were situated on separate chromosomes or if it was yellow and white and if it was brown body and red situated on same chromosome but far apart then it could have undergone recombination and you would have got brown with white and you would have got yellow with red so ye bhi possible tha so recombination ho sakta tha but it was found that it is yellow with white tightly linked and brown body with red eye tightly linked so unke beech mein recombination ke chances kam ho gaye and you got not 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio but you got say 10 is to 2 is to 2 is to 3 ratio 10 is to 2 is to 2 is to 3 ratio or 10 is to 2 is to 2 is to 10 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 ratio 10 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 ratio and why did that happen you got 10 yellow and white you got two you got brown and red like parental combination and you got only two and one recombination only two and one recombination you got so normally what would be the recombination 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 normal hota hai so 3 or 3 six ka recombination hota hai yahan 2 or 1 ka recombination hua baki 10 you got parental 2 you got parental instead of 9 and 1 parental you got 10 and 2 parental and recombinants you got very less so recombinants less mile is ka matlab uh, you will not get segregation of character do not get independent assortment independent assortment nahi hua why because if genes were on separate chromosome to independent assortment possible tha if genes were on same chromosome but situated far apart to independent assortment tha but if genes are tightly linked then unke beech mein independent assortment कम हो जाते हैं एंड रेशियो यू गेट इज नॉट नाइन टू थ्री टू थ्री टू वन बट यू गेट मोर पेरेंटल फिनोटाइप एंड लेस रिकॉम्बिनेंस सो दिस वॉज ऑब्जर्व बाय मॉर्गन मॉर्गन ऑब्जर्व दिस वेरी वेरी क्लियरली एंड मॉर्गन न्यू दैट द जीन्स वर लोकेटेड ऑन एक्स क्रोमोजोम तो येलो बॉडी व्हाइट आई एंड ब्राउन बॉडी रेड आई 
ये एक्स क्रोमोसोम पे जीन्स थे एंड व्हेन द टू जीन्स इन अ डायहेब्रिड क्रॉस वर सिचुएटेड ऑन द सेम क्रोमोसोम देन द प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ पेरेंटल जीन कॉम्बिनेशन वर मच हायर देन द नॉन पेरेंटल टाइप तो जीन सेम क्रोमोसोम पे है और टाइटली लिंक्ड है एक्स क्रोमोसोम के ऊपर तो उनका रिकॉम्बिनेशन का चांसेस कम था एंड पेरेंटल जीन कॉम्बिनेशन ज्यादा था इट इज ड्यू टू लिंकेज ऑफ जीन्स एंड नॉन पेरेंटल जीन कॉम्बिनेशन और रिकॉम्बिनेशन इज लेस एंड पेरेंटल जीन कॉम्बिनेशन वॉज मोर बिकॉज जीन्स वर टाइटली लिंक टूगेदर तो दिस वॉज ऑब्जर्व बाल एंड देन ही डेड another experiment morgan also stated that when genes are grouped on the same chromosome some genes were very tightly linked if they very tightly linked they showed low recombination while others that are loosely linked if they are loosely linked with big distance in between them then there is percentage of high recombination so tightly linked genes tightly linked genes there is low recombination and loosely linked genes there is high recombination now he did a nice experiment genes for white and yellow were tightly linked and showed 1.3% recombination and genes for white and miniature wings showed 37.2% recombination so white and yellow were tightly linked and white and miniature are loosely linked white and yellow tightly linked ka percentage recombination kitna hai 1.3% and white and miniature और लूजली लिंक उनका परसेंटेज रिकॉम्बिनेशन कितना है 37.2 परसेंट नाउ व्हाट डिड यू डू सर ही कैरिड आउट अ क्रॉस क्रॉस ए एंड क्रॉस बी एंड उसके अंदर क्रॉस ए शो जीन्स वाई एंड डब्ल्यू येलो एंड व्हाइट क्रॉस बी शोड व्हाइट डब्ल्यू एंड मिनिएचर वेन स्मॉल एम and all these are recessive genes yellow white white miniature sub recessive hai they are all recessive aur ek dominant wild type allele hota hai uh, a wild type is always dominant and that is represented by plus to wo plus se represent hota hai for example you have cross a mein parental then f1 generation f2 generation you have y plus and w plus y plus and w plus is white type and you have y w y w what does y represent yellow what does w represent white so ye hai white and yellow ye hai wild type because y plus and w plus is dominant over small y and small w and jab unka f1 generation aaya then independent assortment took place this chromosome and this chromosome assorted independently and this chromosome and this chromosome assorted independently so ye wala iske sath aa gaya ye wala iske sath aa gaya so you now got you got a uh, small y small w and y plus w plus so ye wala yahan aa gaya hai ye wala yahan aa gaya hai so you have you have or sorry ye wala niche aa gaya hai ye wala niche aa gaya hai so you have small y small w and you have y plus w plus of which y plus will become dominant over small y and w plus will become dominant over small w so that will become wild type that will become wild type 
एंड ये वाला क्रोमोजोम इधर आ गया है ये क्रोमोजोम इधर आ गया है सो यू गॉट स्मॉल वाय स्मॉल डब्ल्यू वट विल स्मॉल वाय स्मॉल डब्ल्यू रिप्रेजेंट येलो एंड वाइट येलो एंड वाइट सो ये यहां आ गया तो येलो वाइट आ गया और ये वाला यहां आ गया तो ये वाइल्ड टाइप हो गया सो क्रोमोजोम अंडरगॉन इंडिपेंडेंट असोटमेंट दिस क्रोमोजोम हैज नाउ कम ओवर ईयर एंड दिस क्रोमोजोम हैज कम ओवर ईयर तो नाउ वी आर हैविंग वाई प्लस डब्ल्यू प्लस यहां एंड वी आर हैविंग स्मॉल वाई स्मॉल डब्ल्यू यहां तो वाई प्लस डब्ल्यू प्लस इज डोमिनेट ओवर स्मॉल वाई स्मॉल डब्ल्यू तो ये वाइल्ड टाइप हो गया एंड स्मॉल वाई स्मॉल डब्ल्यू हैव येलो एंड वाइट तो ये एफ वन जनरेशन नाउ एफ टू जनरेशन के लिए क्या होगा स्मॉल वाई एंड स्मॉल डब्ल्यू आर टाइटली लिंक्ड टाइटली लिंक्ड सो उनका जब क्रॉसिंग ओवर होगा स्मॉल वाय स्मॉल डब्ल्यू एंड यहां वाई प्लस और डब्ल्यू प्लस इनके बीच में क्रॉसिंग ओवर होगा तो वट विल यू गेट स्मॉल वाय स्मॉल डब्ल्यू एंड यूर यू हैव वाई प्लस एंड डब्ल्यू प्लस इनके बीच में जब क्रॉस ओवर होगा देन यू विल गेट क्रॉस ओवर You will get y plus and w, and यहाँ आ गया y and w plus. So crossover. So what is the crossover? Y and w plus, and w and y plus. Y w. Y plus W plus, so cross over, cross over, so you get Y plus and W, and you get Y and W plus. So ये cross over हो गया. Y and W plus and W and Y plus. Again, Y and W plus, Y and W plus, and Y plus and W crossed over. So, what will we get in the next generation? Y plus and W. Usme Y plus to dominate ho gaya, so W se ban gaya white, and Y and W plus. तो उससे बन गया येलो तो यू गॉट वाइल्ड टाइप वाइल्ड टाइप यू गॉट येलो वाइट एंड यू गॉट वाइट एंड येलो तो वाइट एंड येलो आर रिकॉम्बिनेंस वाइट एंड येलो आर रिकॉम्बिनेंट ओरिजिनल क्या था वाइल्ड एंड येलो वाइट येलो वाइट एंड वाइल्ड वर पेरेंटल एंड नाउ यू गॉट रिकॉम्बिनेंट व्हाइट रिकॉम्बिनेंट हुआ येलो रिकॉम्बिनेंट हुआ व्हाइट रिकॉम्बिनेंट हुआ येलो रिकॉम्बिनेंट हुआ और इसका रिकॉम्बिनेशन चांस कितना हुआ ओनली वन पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट और पेरेंटल टाइप वाइल्ड येलो डब्ल्यू वाइल्ड येलो डब्ल्यू ये पेरेंटल रिकॉम्बिनेशन चांस कितना हुआ नाइनटी 98.7 percent because yellow and white were tightly linked together. Yellow and white were tightly linked together. So recombination with Y plus and W plus recombination ke chances come the to get Y and W plus. And you get Y plus and W. So, ये recombination के chance कम हुए. So, getting Y plus W and Y W plus 
that yellow and white recombination chances were only 1.3%. So these are tightly linked genes. The other cross, cross B, you have capital W and capital M, which are wild type. And you have small w, small w, white, and small m, small m, miniature. But check the distance. Ye, y or w, white and uh, yellow and white, in ka genes ka tightly linked tha. Abhi, capital small w and small m are far apart. Small y and small w are located very close to each other. Whereas uh, small w and small m are situated far apart. So white and miniature ek dusre se dur hai. White and miniature ek dusre se dur hai. So what will happen? Uh, you have white and miniature. You have wild type. And you will have assortment of allele. Assortment of chromosome. Chromosomes will assort. So you will get W plus and M plus over here. And you will get W and M over here. So ye ho gaya W, M, that is white and miniature. And here you got capital W dominant over small W. Or w plus dominant over small W. M plus dominant over M. So ye ho gaya wild type. Or ye ho gaya white miniature. Exactly like F1 generation when we got yellow white, here we have white miniature. Now, the F1 generation ka crossing over hota hai. Ab ye dhyan se dekna. You got capital W, sorry, small W and small M. And here you have W plus and M plus. So, Unke beach mein crossing over ka chance kafi bad jata hai. Here you have capital uh, small w and here you have w plus and here you have uh, m and here you have m uh, rather w plus and here you have m. So once again, ye had w. Ye hai M. Ye hai W plus. Ye hai M plus. And they are situated far apart. Unke beech mein gap kafi hai. They are situated far apart. So chances of crossing over are high. Easily cross over. And what is the next generation you get? You will get W plus and M. And here you will get W and M plus. So W plus and M. W plus and M. And W and M plus. W and M plus. Check this here. So what was the chance of recombination? W and M plus. W and M plus. And what will W and M plus form? Uh, w will form white. M plus is a wild allele. So it will not form any miniature. So white. And chances of M and W plus. M and W plus. Curry combination is high. M and W plus. Curry combination is high. So what will W plus form? Wild allele. Usse kuch nahi banega. Wild allele se kuch nahi banega. What will small m form? Miniature. Small m form miniature. So again, what was the new combination? Uh, you had white miniature, wild type. And F1 generation, you had wild type and white miniature. And now F2 generation, white miniature or wild type to hai. But you got new combination. You got miniature and you got white. You got miniature and you got white. So these were 
recombinants. These were recombinant. And what are the percentage of recombination you got? 37.2%. 37.2%. And parental type kitna aya? Only 62.8%. 62.8%. And recombinant kitna aya? 37.2%. Sir, agar amne yellow and white consider kiya tha, to recombinant white alag, yellow alag, white alag, yellow alag. Ye recombinant kitna aya? 1.3%. If you have considered yellow white. But if you have considered white miniature, then miniature alag, white alag. Miniature alag, white alag. And that is recombinant. Wo recombination percentage kitna aya? 37.2%. So white, yellow, white, yellow, recombinants are 1.3%. And miniature white, miniature white are recombinant person 37.2%. So, if genes are tightly linked, small y, small w, and y plus and w plus, so in ka chance of recombination is very less, very less because genes are tightly linked and percentage of recombination you get only 1.3%. But if the genes are far apart, small w, small m and w plus and m plus. So, in ka crossover ho jana to form W plus and small m and yaha small w and m plus to get this new recombination. How much is the recombination percentage? Quite high 37.2%. 37.2%. Recombinations are possible. So, this was proven by, beautifully proven by Morgan and Drosophila that white and yellow are tightly linked and separation of white and yellow as recombinants is only 1.3%. But white and miniature are far apart, loosely linked and percentage of recombination, miniature alag, white alag is as high as 37.2%. So this was proven by Morgan's experiment. Beautifully done. And then we have the concept of sex linkage, which we understand. So transmission of body characters from parents to offspring along with sex is called sex-linked inheritance or sex linkage. X chromosome and Y chromosome. You have gene for testis, gene for ovary, gene for testosterone, gene for estrogen progesterone, gene for the uh, uh, clitoris, gene for glans penis, gene for clitoris. So, yes, are alleles are for sex characteristics. But you have gene for hairy pinna on Y chromosome, which is somatic characteristic. Gene for rhodopsin, gene for iodopsin, gene for clotting factor 8, gene for vitreous humor. So these are all genes for transmission of body characters, somatic characters. So transmission of body characters from parents to offspring along with the sex is called sex-linked inheritance or sex linkage. These are somatic characteristics related to sex chromosome. So they are called sex-linked genes and sex linkage. There is incomplete sex linkage and complete sex linkage. What do you mean by that? Incomplete sex linkage are located on the homologous region of the X and Y chromosome. So, sir, X and Y chromosome K 
homologous region. If you remember, this is X, this is Y. And these are non-homologous. These are non-homologous. Ye wala non-homologous aur ye wala non-homologous. But X and Y ke beech mein, these were homologous regions. Aur uske beech mein there were allele, gene for testis, gene for ovary, gene for testosterone, gene for estrogen progesterone, gene for glans penis, gene for clitoris. So these were homologous with allele. Ab, in ke upar, is homologous region may be, there are some somatic body characteristics on the homologous region also. There are some somatic or body characteristics, characteristics and in ke beech mein, there is a chance of crossing over because homologous regions cross over and homologous regions cross over so they show incomplete sex linkage. So homologous regions of X and Y chromosome can cross over. Ye homologous region of X and Y chromosome homologous regions can cross over. Homologous regions can cross over. So they do not inherit together because crossing over may take place in these regions. So they are loosely linked genes. And hence these are called incomplete sex linked link genes as their mode of inheritance is called incomplete sex linked inheritance or incomplete sex linkage. So ye hai homologous, non-homologous region or ye hai non-homologous region. X ka bada hota hai, Y ka chota hota hai. Non-homologous region. But these are homologous regions and homologous regions ke upar you have genes which can cross over. Genes can cross over. To unke beech mein crossing over possible hai. So these are incomplete sex link genes. And their mode of inheritance is called incomplete sex linked inheritance or incomplete sex linkage. Which disorders? You have total color blindness, retinitis pigmentosa, and nephritis. So you have uh, non homologous, non homologous, homologous, homologous. Jin ke beech mein crossing over possible hai aur usme kaun se genes cross over ho jate hai genes for total color blindness, retinitis pigmentosa and nephritis are incompletely sex linked genes. Incomplete sex linkage. Then we have complete sex linkage. Complete sex linked genes are located on non-homologous region of X and Y chromosome they inherit together as crossing over does not take place in this region. So, ye hai non-homologous region of X chromosome, which is larger. Or ye hai non-homologous region of Y chromosome, which is shorter. Or uske upar jo genes hai, non-homologous regions do not cross over. Non-homologous regions do not cross over. Unke beech mein crossing over nahi hota hai. No crossing over in the non-homologous regions. So, what are those genes called as? Those are called as completely sex linkage. Completely sex link genes. So, homologous regions cross over. Homologous regions cross over. And homologous regions which cross over are called as incomplete sex linkage. So homologous regions which cross over are called as incomplete sex link. But non-homologous, non-homologous, 
which do not cross over is called complete linkage. And homologous which cross over is called incomplete linkage. So, this is homologous which crossing over that is called as incomplete linkage. Or non homologous, which is in the X chromosome. और y क्रोमोसोम में नॉन होमोलोगस छोटा होता है उनके बीच में अलील्स नहीं होते हैं एंड दे डोंट क्रॉस ओवर एंड इज कॉल्ड एज इनकम इज कॉल्ड एज कंप्लीट सेक्स लिंक जीन्स सो नॉन होमोलोगस कंप्लीट सेक्स लिंकेज होमोलोगस इनकंप्लीट सेक्स लिंकेज होमोलोगस क्रॉसिंग ओवर टेक्स प्लेस एंड इट इज कॉल्ड इनकंप्लीट सेक्स लिंकेज नॉन होमोलोगस Crossing over does not take place and it is called as complete sex linkage. Which genes are completely sex linked genes? Means they are found on non homologous of X and Y chromosome. So that is red green color blindness, hemophilia, myopia, etc. So, ye wale kaun se genes the? Uh, complete sex, incomplete sex linkage ke liye kaun se the? Total color blindness, retinitis pigmentosa, nephritis. They were for incomplete sex linkage. Or complete sex linkage on the non-homologous which genes we have? Gene for red green color blindness, hemophilia, myopia, etc. So they are for complete sex linkage. So, these were the two types of sex linkages. And then you have the concept of sex-linked inheritance. Sex-linked inheritance, genes located on, uh, in the notes all of you please mark this, non. Genes located on non-homologous regions of chromosomes, but not involved in sex determination are called sex-linked genes. Genes found on the non-homologous parts of the X chromosome and Y chromosome. Genes found on the non-homologous parts of the X and Y chromosome. Non-homologous parts of X and Y chromosome are called as X-linked and Y-linked genes. Because they are not for sexual character. Sexual character ka hota hai? Gene for testers, gene for ovary, gene for testosterone, gene for estrogen, progesterone. Wo homologous region mein hota hai. So, homologous region is for sexual character. Is for sex. But, non-homologous region of X chromosome and Y chromosome will inherit characters not involved in sex determination. And they are body characters. So they are body characters. This is somatic character. What we Gene for hair on pinna. Gene for rhodopsin. Gene for iodopsin. Gene for clotting factor 8. Clotting factor 9. Gene for vitreous humor. The fluid in the eyeball. So these are body characters controlled by sex-linked genes and are called as sex-linked characters. What sex-linked characters are? And inheritance of sex-linked genes is called sex-linked inheritance or sex linkage. Inheritance of sex-linked genes is called sex-linked inheritance or sex linkage. There are two types of sex-linked genes, X-linked and Y-linked. So, X-linked or Y-linked, as a two type K sex-linked genes, X-linked and Y-linked. So, X-linked and Y-linked are the two types of sex chromosome determinations. X-linked or sex-linked genes. Genes located on the non-homologous region of X chromosome only are called X-linked or sex-linked genes. 
so genes found on non homologous region of x chromosome x chromosome non homologous region non homologous region of x chromosome and uske upar jo genes hai are called as x linked genes or sex linked genes these x linked genes have no corresponding allele on the y chromosome ye x chromosome aur ye y chromosome jo non homologous part of x chromosome hai are called as x linked genes and that gene has no allele on y chromosome there is no corresponding allele on the y chromosome so x chromosome ka non homologous x linked or sex linked gene has no allele on the y chromosome and recessive sex linked genes in human color are responsible for sex linked characters sex linked characters like hemophilia color blindness night blindness myopia muscular dystrophy so kon kon se diseases non homologous part of x chromosome se hai check it here sir agar aapko clotting factor 8 ya clotting factor 9 jo x chromosome ke non homologous part pe banta hai clotting factor 8 or 9 nahi banega blood will fail to clot and that is called hemophilia agar gene for iodopsin which is responsible for the pigmentation of the cones of your eye and cones of the eye are for color vision so cones in the eye for color vision usme iodopsin barabar se nahi banega then you cannot distinguish between colors and that is called color blindness the gene for rhodopsin rhodopsin which is there in the rods of the eye rods of the eye iodopsin was in the cones rhodopsin is in the rods which are responsible for black and white vision which is functioning at night night ko color nahi dikhte hai and agar rhodopsin function nahi hoga rods mein then the person cannot see at night and that will lead to night blindness or if you have vitreous humor vitreous humor which collects in the eyeball and vitreous humor aapke eyeball mein collect hoga agar wo gene mutate ho jayega then you will get myopia myopia jisse aapko spectacles aate hain to aapka spectacle jo mujhe hai aapko hai is all due to a defective gene on the non homologous part of our x chromosome which is an x linked or sex linked genes now check this carefully in females two recessive sex linked genes are required for expression of a linked trait but in males a single gene can express single gene female hoga तो दोनों एक्स क्रोमोजोम पे यू शुड हैव म्यूटेटेड जीन फॉर से क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर एट क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर एट के लिए दोनों जीन म्यूटेट होना चाहिए दोनों एक्स क्रोमोजोम पे म्यूटेटेड जीन होगा तो ही क्लॉटिंग फैक्टर एट नहीं बनेगा एंड यू विल हैव हीमोफीलिया both genes have to be mutated but samjho in a female one gene is wild gene plus one is the normal gene wild gene so it is plus it is a normal gene then the wild gene normal gene for clotting factor 8 will become dominant over the mutated gene so wild gene always becomes dominant over mutated gene and she 
will have clotting factor 8 and she will not suffer from hemophilia. So she will be normal. Ha, but she will become a carrier because she has one normal gene which is making her normal but she herself will become a carrier for the disease hemophilia. Similarly, for color blindness. Color blindness, if she has a normal gene, capital C, and a defective gene, small c, then capital C will become non dominant over small c. So she will be genotype capital C, small c. And she will not get color blindness because capital C, the normal gene is dominant over small c. But when it becomes gametes, it will go to one gamete, jayega, capital C, and the other gamete, jayega, small c, and small c with another small c can form color blindness. So what does the mother become? Mother becomes a carrier. Mother becomes carrier. By the way, male me agar color blindness hai ya hemophilia hai, then do we remember he has got X and Y chromosome or Y chromosome pe there is no allele which will become dominant over the defective gene. So defective gene pe koi allele nahi hai defective gene ke upar dominant ho sakta hai. So small c se color blindness definitely hoga. Small h se hemophilia definitely hoga. So all these X-linked genes will always express. So ek bhi defective gene aya, to express ho jayega. And in females, two recessive genes are required for expression of the link trait. But in males, a single gene will express. Because so, there is no allele in the Y chromosome. And in females, there are two X chromosomes. Hence, genes are in double. And if one of the X chromosome carries recessive gene for the defect, its effect is suppressed by the dominant gene. So, normal dominant gene, defective recessive gene ko suppress kar dega. And she will become without the disease. But the female with the recessive gene is called carrier as she does not suffer from the disease, but she carries the gene. And very rarely two recessive genes appear in a female. So X small c, X small c for color blindness, both rarely aega female ke andar. Because kam se kam ek to capital C aai jayega, to capital C should become dominant over small c. But rarely it will happen that both X chromosomes have got small c, small c. Then she will get color blindness. In males, since there is only one X chromosome, if recessive gene is present, is present it is expressed phenotypically. As there is no dominant gene to suppress its effect. Y chromosome pe koi alili nahi hai jo small c ko suppress kar sake and x small c y to x small c se color blindness definitely hoga. So sex link traits appear more frequently in males than in females. Females are normal or females may be carriers. X capital C capital C normal, x capital C x small c carrier very rarely she will be X small c, X small c, color blind. But in males, you have X capital C, Y normal or X small c, Y. So Y cannot have any allele to make small c recessive and small c say he will become color blind. So color blind easily ho jayega. So sex link traits are more frequently in males than in females. And all these are called x linked diseases. So hemophilia, color blindness, night blindness, myopia, muscular dystrophy, all these are x linked or sex linked genes. 
then you have bilinked or polandric genes genes located on the non homologous region of y chromosome genes located on the non homologous region of the y chromosome are called as y linked or holandric gene whole andric andric androsium wholly and solely in androsium wholly and solely in males and they inherit with the y chromosome and express only in males females mein y chromosome hota hi nahi hai so y chromosome ka defective gene will always express but only in males and you have hypertrichosis <coughs> excessive growth of hair on the pera so aapke baalon pe kano pe extra baal aa jate hain that is called hypertrichosis which is on the non homologous part of the y chromosome us pe defective gene hone se you get hairy pena excessive growth of hair on the pena which is called hypertrichosis is the x bilin disorder also called as holandric gene so beautiful if you have understood the logic x linked genes are more common in males because y chromosome does not have an allele to make the defective gene recessive in females you may have a defective gene small c for color blindness but a normal gene will become dominant over the recessive gene and she will only become a carrier but very rarely she has small c small c to become color blind so majority women are normal or carriers तो एक्सलेंट मेल में ज्यादा कॉमन है और वाइलिंग तो मेल्स में ही होता है हाइपोटिकोसिस ओनली मेल्स विल फाइंड बिकॉज इट इज इनहेरिटेड फ्रॉम माइक्रोबोसोम फ्रॉम वन जनरेशन टू दी अदर सो ऑल सेक्स लिंग डिजीजेस आर मोर कॉमन इन मेल्स कंपेयर टू फीमेल्स सेक्स लिंग डिसऑर्डर्स आर मोर कॉमन इन मेल्स कंपेयर टू फीमेल Chuck, I hope you understood this all of you. Fine. Take care, brother. Bye bye.